Welcome back and thanks for watching. I'm warning you right now that today's clip will raise your blood pressure. Joy Reid is so damn out of her mind that she just comes right out and says the quiet part out loud while celebrating Trump's mugshots. She doesn't even try to make some kind of a legal argument because surprise, surprise, for Joy Reid, it's all about vengeance against white people. And we're gonna watch that clip together right after I tell you about this free coin offer from Noble Gold. The US dollar has lost 85% of its value since the dollar decoupled from gold. And the government seems hell bent on continuing that tradition. From now until the next elections, the government can print as much money as they want. The last time they did that, inflation went up 9%. Gold is the one asset that has proven to withstand inflation. Invest in gold with Noble Gold Investments and you'll get a 24 karat, one quarter ounce gold standard coin for free. Go to noblegoldinvestments.com right now. That's noblegoldinvestments.com or simply dial 1-877-646-5347. The only gold company I trust. And remember, there's always risk in investment and there are no guarantees of any kind you know i can tell you for me it is you know when i moved back to new york um one of the mugshots that that, that sit with me if joy reed hates trump so much then why did she appropriate his hairstyle um one of the mugshots that that, that sit with me i mean i still remember that he made five teenagers yeah. my age yeah. take a mugshot. Yeah. That he wanted them not just take a mugshot, he wanted them dead. Stay with that case. And this was the Central Park Five case, the exonerated five, you know? No. Whoa, 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 what? The Central Park Five, you're gonna bring them into this? What did Trump have to do with these five teens deciding that they were gonna rob and beat people up in Central Park? They were absolutely not exonerated. I know that they think they've rewritten history on all this thanks to the Netflix propaganda, but those five teens are guilty. The lead detective in this case said, quote, the five of them went to Central Park to beat up people and they ended up with millions of dollars and they're heroes and civil rights icons. It's appalling. Joining me now is Eric Reynolds, a former New York City police officer who on the night of the attack arrested two of the five. You watched the Netflix series and you thought what? Um, I watched the Netflix series and I was shocked. Someone who knows only of this case, what they watched in that four part series would come away thinking that the admissions, the videotaped admissions were all coerced, that this was all the result of cops who were acting in a, in a, a nefarious way to railroad those five individuals. As one of the police officers who made critical arrests in this case, you would respond how? Oh, that's ridiculous. All you need to do is look at the videos. Watch the videos. Look at each one of the defendants. See if they're being coerced. See if they're sleep deprived. See, you'll see their parents are in every single video. Kevin Richardson had a scratch on his face. When we asked him how he got the scratch, he first lied and said that my partner did it. Uh, when confronted, you know, with the fact that we were gonna go ask my partner, he then admitted that the female jogger scratched his face. Reynolds, yes. thank you for being here. It's, it's a complicated case and certainly not as clear as the television adaptation. That's what I would say. And this was the Central Park Five case, the exonerated five, you know? So we're off to a great start here with Joy Reid justifying Trump's indictment and his mugshots because he was a vocal critic of violent criminals. And this was the Central Park Five case, the exonerated five, you know? And, and they were my age. Yeah. So as a teenager living in New York, I, I've said it before, this is the reason I never watched The Apprentice. I despised Donald Trump yeah. because he, to me, signified the rich white guy in Manhattan. What? that absolutely hated and despised me. Right. That hated and despised my cousins, my friends, everyone we knew, that, that, that called us wilding. Another Joy Reid deception, since they were referring to the mob of violent teens who were randomly attacking people in Central Park. And that has now become a slang for acting crazy. And so people like Giuliani and people like Trump persecuted black and brown people in New York. No.
That's bullshit. It's what they did for fun. It's what they did for pleasure. Lady, you're scaring us. And so to me, this is justice. You got that? It's justice because she's a paranoid freak who hates white people and sees Giuliani and Trump and people like that as the embodiment of what she hates. And so of course, this justifies imprisoning them as so-called justice or social justice. Does anyone out there think for a second that if the government started rounding up so-called extreme MAGA Republicans down to everyday people like you and me, that these ghouls on TV wouldn't be saying the exact same thing and calling it justice. Make no mistake, that is where we're headed. Hey, before you go, I just wanted to let you know about a friend of mine and her YouTube channel. It's called Ellie in Video Land. She's a former left winger who does long form videos on politics, games, comedy, and a ton of other stuff, along with shorts and live streams as well. Check her out, she's addicting. I think you'll wanna binge watch some Ellie. All right, folks, that's all I have for that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button, share, subscribe, and leave a comment to vent those frustrations. Thanks a lot. I'll see you on the next one.